I heard about VEJV, like sixth grade. And I was in seventh grade. I think I was about 11 years old. In seventh grade, I was just always this energetic kid. What I really lacked a lot in uh, middle school was public speaking. Like you ever know when you lost your AirPod and you use your phone and it tells you the exact location where it was and where it is? With VE, it taught me how to present in front of thousands of people. So it kind of forced me to get out of the bubble, which I'm really grateful for. Hi, my name is Sarah Nation. I'm the CEO of Umami. I was actually CEO in middle school too, so it was translated from middle school back to high school, so this is my second year doing it. I do believe that previous experience in middle school is what got me into this position. In junior high school, we were first introduced to the whole aspect of running a business, feeling like an adult, working in an adult environment, and being treated like an adult. I really like those things. And we're going off to a competition. We're preparing these presentations and we're, you know, it felt obviously like it's middle school, but it felt like the real world. Like it felt like it was different. When we had to come up with an idea for the business, I already had things in my mind. I was like, we should do this and this is logistically possible and this is not. Whereas other people, they may have not understood where even to begin because they weren't taught it in middle school. Right, even analysis is right here. So we have that as well. When the VEJV students come in, they are already of a professional mindset. I have an actual faculty member and he asked for input with his creating his business plan so he can get some grants. So I said, my students are going to help you. It's an amazing opportunity that at 12 or 13 years old, you're actually getting into business concepts as simple as marketing or, or planning budgets. It really helped me during the job I currently have right now. I think it definitely caught them by surprise because I was very knowledgeable about certain aspects of business management, especially learning how to draw people in, getting their attention in order to come to our establishment. I interned at Harvard and McLean's Hospital. It was a lab internship, and I also had to design, my, design a website for the lab. I've never done that, but I was given the leg up because of the skills that I learned in JVBE. New York City is one school district of 1.1 million students. So no matter where you live, you do have access to any high school that you want. We also prioritize sustainability by sourcing our ingredients from local farms. I got accepted into Fort Hamilton High School and a different school. And the deciding factor was because Fort Hamilton had VE. Mommy's main strength are convenient on-the-go self-heating boxes. When I was applying for high schools, I only looked at high schools that I knew had virtual enterprise. Excuse me, how are you? I'm Darlena, hi, nice to meet you. This is one of our eighth graders. This is our business of Safe Jewels. You can give them a card and tell them what Safe Jewels is about. I'm here to represent my school to help out the younger generation. I'm basically letting them know that this is such a big part of their education and it's helped me so much and I tell them that it's gonna help them too and that they should continue down this path. Seniors at Fort Hamilton, they actually made me so teary-eyed to see that they took that confidence that they did not have in seventh grade built these skills up and then ran with them. They came to visit us and introduce us to their company. It was amazing. They were so well prepared and I was just blown away by how much work they have done and put into their company. Smile. We're currently at the College of Mount St. Vincent in the Bronx. We have teams from Connecticut, Yonkers, the Bronx, and Wappingers Falls that all compete with each other for the right to represent the North Division in the U.S. National Championships. Saving one dog will not change the world, but surely for that one dog, the world will change forever. We actually did have a couple of students here today from the Intech Academy who were in the JV program. In third place, from the Bronx, from Intech Academy, part of And I don't think it's a coincidence that Intech Academy has won an award in every New York competition this year. Overall, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be in this program. And I am proud of our team. students from all over the city here and actually getting together and how they start to get to know each other. A lot of my students have already been saying hello from previous competitions. It's a nice little community that we actually develop. Invest in us and join us on our journey to educate, encourage, and nourish adolescents.
He's been banging on the door for a few years, and this time he just broke it down from Fort Hamilton High School. Come on down. We're going to nationals. <laughs> Starting VE Young is absolutely vital because it can help break kids out of their shell and help introduce them into this new world that they've never seen before. What better way to inspire kids to come up with crazy ideas that they actually go after than to invest in a program like Virtual Enterprise. It's more important to fund at the younger level because young minds are more creative. Going back to, into VE, it's like coming back to a, an old house that you once lived in. It's, it's feel, it feels like you're at home. 